Good morning. Hi, Bonnie. So today, hi, Bertram. <laughs> You're climbing up all the way here. Seriously. Go, go, go down. Go down. You might break my coffee mug. Oh, my goodness. They always want to be part of this. So today, I woke up a little extra early. So I already made my bulletproof coffee. For those who want to know how to make it, I always save it in my IGTV on Instagram and on Facebook. Password, uh, request to be in your live. Oh, yes, we could do this. That's so cool. Hold on, let me do that. Go live with Hutch Nelson. Hello, Bonita. Good morning. I woke up early today because I was doing a little reading. I'm trying to finish my book, my new book, Healing Oils of the Bible. And it's so interesting. Every chapter is so interesting. It's like I want to take a picture of every single thing I'm reading and share it with you guys. Um, but let me see. Tammy, did you get in? Or are you going to go in through um, Instagram? Password is lectins. But um, the... The Instagram doesn't require a password. Um, and I took out the password on the Facebook site too. Um, let me know which one you want to join. Okay, so this is my new bottle of Yara Palm. And this is my old one. And in order to save a little money, the pure one, the new ones, I always drop for my hormones. And then I always put a little bit extra, extra, read all about it. What do you mean, um, Tammy? I'm on... Are you going on on my Zoom, Tammy? So pure under the eye because at 46, you need a little pureness in your eye. What do you mean? Uh, okay. Ah! Let me see. Good morning, Cynthia. Bonnie's here with me in Zoom. Want to join? Okay, so my old bottle, I got new argan oil from Trader Joe's. And I'm going to pop it all in here because all this has... Um, go on Zoom. Okay, I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to message you on your messenger on Facebook, the link to, um, so you could just click it, Tammy. Let me do that now. Okay, Tammy Nelson, I'm sending you right now um, the link that you could just click on Instagram. How come it keeps on taking me here? Hold on. Let me go to Messenger and I'm clicking Tammy. And Tammy Nelson. How come it goes? But if you go to Samantha Yalom Health under comments, the link to my Zoom is right there. Tammy. So that can that can go. Is that you? I hope that's you. Let me see. It's Nandy. Okay, Nandy's in. 
Okay, let me help Tammy. Good morning, Nandy. I'm trying to help Tammy to get in. Um, um, Zoom. Ah, how come it's not allowing me? Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I had too many open. Tammy Nelson, here we go. I'm sending you the link on Messenger right now, so you could just click and you're on Zoom. Or you could go to Samantha Yalong Health and under the comments, there's the, the link. Can you guys hear me? I can. Yay! I woke up at 6.30 so, or 6 o'clock. Wow. Because my husband has a different time change on his... Um, his uh, work and I had this really really bad dream so I, and I knew it was a dream so it just keeps going on and on and I said I'll oh, forget it I don't want this <laughs> for real <laughs> it was one of those crazy dreams where I had a neighbor that would come over oh it was scary I was trying to get the kids out and then I couldn't find my my money my wallet and stuff because all the oh. guys were getting it and I said oh. this is this is a dream. I don't want it anymore. Let me get out of here. So I hate, this is like um, extra coffee to the flaxseed and the bullet, the ghee and stuff. But. Oh, you added flaxseed? Yeah. Just, just a little fiber. It doesn't yeah. hurt to have a little fiber. Uh -huh. So today our, our, Tammy had a good question about MCT and how it doesn't um, raise your LDL levels. Because there's HDL, which is the good cholesterol, and then there's the LDL levels, which is your bad cholesterol, right? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm waiting for her to get on Zoom, but while I'm waiting for her, I'm just using my old Yarrow Palm bottle and I'm going to put, like, you know how there's a, um, some yarrow palm left over here? Mm. And every time I try to get it, I'm only getting this much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So in order to get to all that yarrow palm, I'm going to start filling it up with argan oil. Oh, good, good job. Yeah. yeah. So it's either you do this. Or you put argan, or you put the yarrow palm here. Uh, it, yeah, either. Or. But that's not enough yarrow for all that argan oil. Yeah, I'm going to add maybe frankincense and rose in here. You know, I'd, especially since I've been under the sun and the wind from the camping trip, I'm so, so dry. So I, I could, didn't, you bring, didn't you bring that with you? I did. I, I brought a whole bag of all my oils and stuff because it's my medicine. Yeah, so, I know you can't leave home without them. <laughs> right? But when you're out there camping, it's like um, you forget you're not home in your element. So there's no need for um, sunblock? Huh? There's no need for sunblock. No time yes. off. No sunblock. Oh, sunblock. Yeah, for sunblock, I actually use diaper ash cream. Hi, Tammy. Yay. Good morning. I don't, morning. Sorry, I've just been uh, paying these dogs because they're they're thinking they can talk to us while we're. We had Bert from climbing over the counter. Oh my goodness. I just put a ton, I just got from Argan Oil from Trader Joe's and I put a ton in here. So I was, and I was telling Nandy, so we're in our RV, right? There's so many things that I want to fix and organize and stuff. So when you're there, you forget about yourself and fixing yourself and yeah. you're only yeah so 
So it, it's still pretty blue. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can even put more argan oil in there. But now I'm like super dry because of the wind and stuff. And plus, when you're there in the beach, all you want to do is get out in the beach and stretch. Yeah. Just watch. So I just take my coffee and I just look at the beach, look yeah. at the waves. Enjoy. Like forever and ever. Right? So Tammy had a good question about the oils especially the MCT that I put in my coffee. Doesn't it raise LDL level? That was your question, right? And then we were, yes. we were discussing HDL is your good fats, and then LDL is your bad fats, right? Yep. Um, so I don't... I did have my notes, but I also wanted to read off the book so you actually don't hear it from me, but you hear it from the author himself. So you can say, it's not Sam who said it, it's the book, right? But they were, but I was, um, I went on a rabbit hole I was reading this morning, and they were saying basically MCT, especially when you blitz it right um it aerates but um not not only that does the aeration make it go straight to your liver because it's in not necessarily nanoparticles just yet but it's in smaller particles so it goes straight to the liver it bypasses your digestive tract so you don't have to eat eat it like the normal food it doesn't have to go through digestion because it's medium chain not long chain so your original coconut oil the one that's thick that needs to be digested but the medium chain since it's smaller chains it goes straight to the liver and then your liver makes it into ketones and your brain can use those ketones as food. What are ketones again? Ketones are their um, food for the brain. Now, what are ketones? Yeah, what are ketones? All I know is a ketogenic diet. We're trying to do ketones. <laughs> yeah, what are ketones? Let's see what the definition of ketones is. But I know that when you have ketones, you're losing weight. Ketones are chemicals your liver makes. You produce them when you don't have enough insulin in your body to turn sugar into energy. So that's what I was saying is, so you're not eating the sugars, you're having the MCT in the morning. So you're you're digesting that fat from the MCT instead of any sugars because you're still in a fasted state, right? Because if you had a bagel, you would digest the bagel, right? But since we're having MCT first thing in the morning and it goes directly to my liver, the liver makes it into ketones, so I will burn the ketones. Good morning, Bryn. I will burn the ketones from the MCT instead. First. Um, which is a good thing because you're saying to your body, I have food in my body, so don't stress my adrenals. Because when you're on starvation mode, on the normal fast some your adrenals could be stressed so by having fat in your liver to supply you for energy then you're not stressed right your liver turns this fat into ketones a type of acid and sends them into your bloodstream so the ketones are sent to your bloodstream to give you 
energy for your body. The thing with ketones, though, that's what the rabbit hole I went into, is it has the ability to go to your brain, to pass the blood-brain barrier. And the nice thing about the BBB, the blood-brain barrier, um, is that not everything is allowed to go in the blood-brain barrier because God made it so that not everything can go here because if everything can go here, you know, the, um, what was it? Toxins, pathogens, and even circulating and even circulating neurotransmitters like glu glutamate that can damage your neurons if levels are too high. So the, you know how we have bloodstream all over our body, taking our nutrients all over our body. Well, the ones the bloodstream in the brain is selective they don't just let anything in there um so because they want to protect your brain right and the ketones go in there the essential oils go in there because it's uh anything that can go in there has to be less than a one nano nano particle like a nanometer the upper the utmost biggest thing that can go in there is has to be less than one nanometer so only fat solubles like mct like essential oils the sad part is viruses like the h hiv human t cells like leukemia the west nile virus um they get in there too you know what else gets in there? Coffee. <laughs> That's why we wake up when we drink coffee. It has the ability to affect your, your Does the brain. Does go up there too? The, the ghee. The ghee. The fat from that. When, it, when your liver turns it into ketones, the ketones can go in there. Yeah. But it still has to... Um, it's not as fast as MCT, but specifically MCT is the one that goes up there for, that's why they call it, uh, uh, um, what is it? What did the, some people, brain octane. Oh. That's why they call it brain octane. Yeah. But so that's, I think, so that in a nutshell, um, is what they were saying but i was also sending my brother uh, messages last night about um, ldl levels where they did a study with the people oh even gallstones they did a study people with low carb diet a uh, low fat diet and then the other half was high fat diet and then the one with the low fat diet 50 percent of them develop more gallstones wow. compared to the one with more bulalo more high fat more wow. bone broth in their diets the guy was saying is that there's more of a so since you're pumping your liver with more good fats there's more cleaning and with the cleaning the flushing out of old gallstones and no future gallstones with higher fat um that's what they were saying i was yeah he was saying it's logical to think that food higher in fat can result in gallbladder free from gallstones and the science supports it one randomized controlled trial so of course uh, so 50 percent of the low fat group this was despite the weight loss in both groups so the higher group had better gallbladder emptying and no stones developed whereas 50 percent of the low fat group developed gallstones yeah because it's like they're always flushing out with new, with the more fat. 
So if you're afraid of gallstones, that's, that's one thing too. Um, but let me see what he has to say about MCT. Or maybe we can go to LDL levels. What do you think? Yes. Let's go to LDL. Or there's no LDL. Maybe we could go to cholesterol. Maybe it's under MCT. Yeah, maybe it's under MCT. I need my reading glasses. <laughs> 19163. Let's go to 163. Um, this is a liquid coconut extract that is a mixture of medium and short chain fats. Oh, I didn't know it's also short chain. MCT oil. I know. MCT oil also promotes ketone formation and brain function a bit functionality even better than coconut oil. So brain octane oil is a staple of this diet, bulletproof diet. Um, and it's a key ingredient in the bulletproof coffee that Nandi takes. It's made purely of C8 MCTs, the cleanest, most potent, potent MCT. So now we, better, we all better check on our MCT. Is it C8? Because he was, when I was also reading, there's so many MCTs in the market, right? But the most yes. cleanest form are two types, caproic and capric. Because there's a C8, C10, C12, all that stuff. So the C8 and the caproic and capric, those are the most cleanest MCT. Proven four times effective as coconut oil in raising ketones. So brain octane converts to ketones within minutes, making it a powerful tool to suppress hunger and fuel your brain in a way that MCTs do not. Normal MCTs do not. It also flavorless, odorless, and easier on your stomach than most other MCTs. He said you start with one teaspoon. I even said start with one eighth of a teaspoon, especially my friend Tammy, because I did I, I gave it to her. <laughs> you know, we gotta uh, be wary for everyone. So I say start with one eighth of a teaspoon and then work your way up. I could do about a tablespoon a day. Wow. Yeah, a tablespoon over my salad, and then maybe half a tablespoon for this cup of coffee. Mm. So that's what it's, um, you still get the mental and metabolic boost. So imagine, because that's what ketogenic dieters do, is they're trying to produce ketones. Because when you produce ketones, thank you for your kisses. My whole knee is wet right now. <laughs> um, I know, but they also eat their poop. So now I have to take a shower. <laughs> oh, no. Right? Oh, I know it's good to get kisses from dogs, but man, it's like a yin and yang. <laughs> Which is, you know, that's why they say having dogs is actually healthier for us because they bring in viruses. And then we, we, we have, we're, we're exposed to the viruses little by little. And then our immune gets stronger and stronger and stronger, right? So that's why they say get out there, get out in the world, smell the fresh air, smell the, get the viruses from everywhere from the ground the poop the you know and then little by little you're getting stronger okay going back to mct um so c8 and c10 those are the caproic and the capric um produces using solvents so the ketones you're trying to do that so that your body burns that and then when you're burning that, you're revving up your metabolism, right? That is besides the point of fasting. You're burning that, but also because you're not, but because you're in the fasted state, you're not feeding your body any sugars or any carbs. 
it's going to start getting your, since insulin is low, it's going to start burning your fats. Right? I hope that's what he says. Um, fish oil fermented. Um, I want to make sure I don't get sick with coughs or colds now. This was changed by having the coffee. Okay, so let me look at the others. Bulletproof fats. So he has the grass-fed butter. What does he say about the grass-fed butter? It's high in fat-soluble vitamins, antioxidants, healthy fats, vitamins A, E, D, and K. Ooh, that's what's in our butter. Grain feeding causes a massive drop in all those beneficial compounds in butter. Introduces new toxins and raises omega-6 levels. We only want omega-3s, right? It's crucial to choose grass-fed butter every single time. There's the ghee. The yeah. ghee has all the micronutrients and antioxidants of butter, but it goes through one more step of processing that makes it just a little bit more bulletproof. Cultured grass-fed butter is heated for a short period of time to do to remove the water the milk protein called casein and lactones. So that's all removed, the water and the milk. Then the final product is even more nutrient dense than butter without the casein and lactose that can be irritating to some people. For those who are especially sensitive to dairy or who have gut damage, ghee is a must. Then he talks about um, virgin co coconut oil but beware of copra oil, a type of coconut that is particularly moldy. He's very, very anal. He hates mold. That's why he sells the Bulletproof coffee because it doesn't have any mold. American coffee, like my Yuban here, is not tested for mold, so probably has four molds. But if you get European coffee like Illy or Lavazza, those coffees are tested for two of the molds. They have some molds. Yes, molds that affect our brain because he's all about brain health. Um, so, you know, it's like in your home, you don't want molds. I know. <laughs> That's interesting. I never heard of that. Yeah, and here we are drinking it, eating it. You know, the FDA allows like a point, point, whatever, whatever, something for anything that goes out in the market. It's very interesting to find how much they allow for certain foods. Like I remember um, looking, so it was said somewhere, I think it was in this book, sesame seeds, you know how you sprinkle with sesame seeds? Yeah. They're allowed like, um, like one rat per uh, barrel, something like that, you know? Well. <laughs> So that's, but you know, that's so anal. Our bodies are also built by God majestically that we can get rid of toxins. That's why every time you take vitamins that are fake, you have that bright yellow urine, right? That's your body's way of saying, get out of here. Or when you eat foods that are spoiled, you get diarrhea or you throw up. That's your body's way of saying, I don't want that stuff. Get out of here. This is a, this is not cool. That's why you get a fever because your body's say, trying to kill it, right? So fevers are actually good because you're, that's why, that's why I love natural medicine, like homeopathic medicine. It's like um, trying to, when my kids have holds i give them tally more because it makes them have more phlegm because the phlegm is the vehicle of the virus so that the they can have more phlegm so that all the viruses get out so instead of them being sick for a week they could be sick for two days but in two days all that it's not just clear or yeah. yellow it's gonna be like green but it's gone in two days quickly out. So God made all these natural stuff all around us for us to eat, 
and use as medicine to heal ourselves naturally. That's what I love. I've been, this is my new book, my new fave book, Healing Oils of the Bible. I mean, the original medicine, right? The natural ones that God intended for us to use, like oregano, frankincense, myrrh, tea tree, lemon. I mean, that's all our food, oranges. Those are all medicinal. So every time we try to eat something, is it medicinal? Is it going to be good for our skin? Is it going to be good for our hair? And my sister-in-law, she sent me this thing about fasting. She, it read, um, as humans, we love, we're pleasure seekers. That's why the more you get in your Instagram and your Facebook, it's designed to hit your hormone um, dopamine. Dopamine, every time you click and you get a like or whatever, it hits your sensory here. Yeah. I forgot the, the hormone, but it hits you up. What is it? I know what. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? Um, yeah, you're close to it. <laughs> I'm close to it. That one, that, we, that level, we, and then we get a, yeah. ah, it's like a high, you get a high. I think it's the one for sex too. Um, yes. but anyway, so, um, that's why I'm going to go into another rabbit hole, but remember there was a, a lady that came here talking, that talked to a lot of the teens that I invited to my home. Um, that's why when people get addicted to pornography, um, or they ad get addicted to video games, it, it's a constant dopamine it's the same as have being addicted to cocaine. You're always um, wanting the pleasure, pleasure, pleasure because of the dopamine hit, if that's even the word. And then what happens is parts of your brain go blank because it's not being developed. You're always pleasuring yourself with what you see. It could be the internet, it could be pornography, it could be video games. And it can be food. We're pleasuring ourselves. And then the parts of the brain that need to be developed, like, you know, Mandy, she's going to school. She's learning a lot. She's always strengthening other parts of her brain. It's not always just a pleasure seeker hit, you know? So yes. that's, that's what we as humans, it's like, it's like those rats that, they always, they give a pellet and then they always want more and more and more and more. It's like that, right? But then the other parts of their brain are not being developed. But anyway, with fasting, it's like taking out that pleasure and seeing yourself, how you are without that at the mo what, you know, what, without any of those um things in your life and then seeing yourself for who you are plainly without having the dopamine levels being bzz, bzz each and every time through food or whatever i guess that's why jesus fasted for 40 days because he wanted to be in that state like a zenish state i guess where he could really pray and make sure that he's not tempted right 40 days yeah for he fasted for 40 days 40 nights right in the desert how is that 40 days now people can do it right because but you have to work up to it oh okay yeah first you have to start with let's say breakfast lunch dinner only only and then you can maybe take out breakfast and then have a lunch and dinner because there's never there's nothing wrong with breakfast lunch dinner now, down to one meal. now, now i'm down to one meal yeah but but because i've had two consecutive actually every weekend i'm out on the beach 
and every weekend it's been we eat out. Yes, oh. Mr. Bacon. Oh my God. You're fasting on the weekends. So I'm not fasting on the weekend. And guess what my weight is today? 123. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, Bacon. I wish I could be 123. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was 154 and I was, I was hoping, wishing I could just be 130. How long ago was that? Three years ago. Three years? Yeah. Yeah, three years ago. That's when I decided I prayed about it during that that um, women's uh, Bible study we had with um, at at church at Valencia Hills. Um, it was 2017. So that group? yeah, yeah. You still yeah. join that group? Sorry. You still join that group? Um, yeah, but we had a seminar, like a, a women's Bible study. I forgot who was the name of the girl. She has a lot of books. I'm blanking on her, but that, that, that during that women's conference, that's when I decided. I got my stick. <laughs> I hope he doesn't go near me. I'm wearing shorts. I don't want any scratches in my legs. Oh. I've already had enough scratches from jet skiing. Okay. Sorry, I can't hear you, Tammy. I can hear you, but like super low. Oh, there, I can hear you a little bit now. What'd you say? Oh, I came back from camping Monday night. So the whole day yesterday and until today, I'm fasting. And I'm, I'm weighing myself just so I could get it in my <laughs> brain what my goal is, at least to go back to 120. So, but during the fasted state, so I don't stress my adrenals, I'm having the MCT and the, the bulletproof coffee that has the ghee and the MCT. I am having it in the morning and then I can have it in a tea form at four o'clock. And, and to stress, to not stress, and remember hunger comes in waves. If I'm ever caught on the top of a wave, a handful of macadamia nuts, yeah, or pistachios. It's so hard to stop <laughs> to remind myself, oh, that's a handful already. <laughs> what, what? That's a handful, Tim. Right? No. Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I can put in my <laughs> Whatever I can put in my hand. He's on his hand, so he has bigger hands. <laughs> right, right. That's why men can have a bigger palm size of a uh, of meat because they have bigger of a hands, right? <laughs> and that's why they can also have two glasses of wine instead of us ladies who can have one glass of wine every night. <laughs> well, even when you're, even when you're um, uh, fasting, you can have wine? Oh, no, not, not during fasting, but on a normal daily. <laughs> I can have wine, yeah. But um, for fasted state, I'm only having the bulletproof tea or coffee and the nuts. Some some people call it a dirty fast. I, I call it, I'm not being mean to the children fast. So let's see, 95 and nine, to 96 and 97. Let's see what he has to say about MCT that I didn't mention. Um... Ooh, there's a lot of blue. It's my friend, um, nurse friend, Joe, that gave this book. So she already uh, wrote down. Let's see, what did she underline? Clean fats at dinner gives you a steady stream of energy. Ooh, that's my bulletproof tea. 
Grass-fed butter, animal fat, and coconut oil are all good choices, but extra concentrated MCT oil is my personal favorite. The shortest length fats of MCT oil are converted into ketones that are immediately used as fuel for your brain. And MCT oil also helps you burn body fat while you sleep. Yay! I've noticed that I think faster and more clearly the next morning if I have one to two tablespoons of this MCT the night before with dinner or even right before bed. So that's why I drizzle it over my salads or whatever meal. Even if you're having um, kimchi over rice or adobo over rice, I drizzle it in anything I'm eating. Oh. So dry, So he said, try drinking a no coffee vanilla latte. Oh, he sells this stuff. Um, I guess just do it with your tea. Um, DH... So I also, wait, something that I remembered, you, yeah, you burn, it does not store in your liver, this MCT. It doesn't store in your liver because it immediately becomes, your liver immediately turns it into ketones. And it's not like we're eating a whole gallon of it, you know, many, many, or even a cup of it. You're not having that much where it's too much for your liver. Because anything, what happens when you eat carbs and sugars, a lot of it, your liver uses it for glycogen, right? For, for your energy. And then if there's extra, that one gets stored into fat in your belly. Yes, but the, the MCT doesn't get to that portion because it, gets, it becomes ketones right away. That can be um, food for your brain and for yourself. It doesn't get a chance. Let's say you eat a whole cup of MCT for the day. Maybe that can get stored as fat. Maybe, but I'm not even there. I'm just using a tablespoon at my, my, my salad and then maybe half a tablespoon here. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. And the more fat you take, you're getting flushing, you're flushing out the, your, you know, it, preventing gallstones even. Yeah. And I did read that you have lower, because you're flushing out all the time, you actually have lower LDL levels with the MCT. I think that was your question. Yeah. How come I can't hear you so well? Let's see what, um, with, I, when I read from Gundry, the lectin-free eating, um, since you're not eating that much carbs, your LDL levels go down. Do you know that when you eat a lot of fruit and a lot of, a lot of fruit is sugar, right? Yep. It's the same thing as eating a lot of carbs. And so even if you don't eat a lot of carbs, let's say you don't eat a lot of rice, but you eat a lot of fruit, that fruit spikes up your insulin. And then you get insulin resistance, right? And when you have insulin resistance, your fat, actually, your body actually produces more fat. It's your liver that produces 80% of your fat. This is what I was, I remembered. I was reading last night. Your liver produces the fat, 80%. So even if you eat fat, it hardly even affects your fat production. So you, you're, you're, you drinking fat hardly affects your fat production because your fat production is produced by your liver. So it's not because you're eating fat. That's like 10% of it. 
eighty percent. I forgot what the other ten percent, but eighty percent of it is based on what your liver produces. And the reason why your liver produces the fat is because wow. of the sugars we eat. Imagine. So the more carbs and sugars we eat from food, fruit and the carbs, the more fat we produce, not because we're drinking good fats. It's actually, the good fats that we drink is actually metabolizing those carbs that you ate faster. Mm, that sounds good. Yeah. So, man, my AC is still at 68. Yeah. I'm going to lower it to 75. But anyway, so that's, I remember now that I picked up this book, you know what I love about sharing with you guys is because I'm learning at the same time. I read this book. And it's so hilarious when we were talking about fasting. Fasting did not resonate in my brain until I read it from him. But you know what? He was saying it all along and he's the first one I read. Isn't that funny? They're both promoting fasting, both of them? Not only him, this guy too, even more. So, yeah, he, he was... All three of them are promoting fasting. Oh. Yeah. Also, lifespan, Sinclair, who's a geneticist. What doesn't hurt what doesn't hurt you or kill you strengthens you. That's hormesis. That's like when you go in a sauna or ice bath. You shut your body shuts down. It's like a power plant. There's a all your body shuts down so that the parts that's broken, all the power will go there. That's what happens during fasting. Yeah. Yeah. You get more brown fat. You know, the, the babies have brown fat over here. Bertram, don't eat your leash. That is actually, it's like a, what's that? The umbilical cord? Not that people are trying to harvest. What's that again? The placenta? Yes. Yeah. It's equivalent to that. The brown fat that's produced by hormesis that actually strengthens your immune and strengthens your ability to fix yourself. So that's why the Japanese, the Koreans who are always... In the sauna, they do that daily, right? Or the sweet, the Swiss. Yeah, they like that. Yeah, that's a good investment. I really, really want a sauna. I, I, I like wet saunas though. I don't like the dry sauna. Can't breathe in the dry sauna. <laughs> yeah. But I remember in the Philippines, we would go to the Korean spa. Um go in there wash yourself scrub yourself and then you dunk into the the hot one then you dunk into the cold ice bath and then they even have one with ginseng so you keep doing that one two three then hop into the sauna and then one two three hop into the sauna then maybe do it seven times and then your skin will be so loose then you go into this bed um, where they, there's a lady that will scrub you in your back, back of your thigh, everywhere. So it's like exfoliation, dermabrasion situation until you're sparkling clean like a car. Wow. And then after that, you go into a room where you could get massaged. And, um, and then you could, there's a, even an eat all you can hot pot after. <laughs> <laughs> I like that part. <laughs> I know. But what I love about this is you go in there and it's like not like those massages where they say, excuse me, time to wake up, time to go home. This one you can sleep for as long as you want. Wow. I know. I that. Really, really therapeutic. No wonder those ladies, you know, when I'm in the sauna with them, you check them out, their skin, are, it's flawless. Yeah. It's like super hot 
You know, every culture has their thing that they're doing. Every culture has their probiotics. They have their kimchi, right? That counteracts all the bad snacks that they, you know. That, they, what about, uh, have you heard of alkaline water? Yes, alkaline water. Is that, do you drink alkaline water? Um, we have a reverse osmosis that produces uh -huh. alkaline water. Oh, yeah? Sonny bought it from Canada, the reverse osmosis system. Oh, I know so that there's expensive ones out there. So yeah. yeah, I just heard about alkaline water. It's yeah. supposed to be good for you. Yeah. Sunny was hoping for more boys, so that's why we had alkaline water. Oh, is that what you he thought you could have more boys? Right, yeah. Sonny <laughs> well, just one more. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I have, I'm 46. I have a girlfriend who just got pregnant for the first time. She just texted us. Wow. She lives in San Francisco. I'm like, yay! Didn't Jackson have her first baby at 50? Yeah. Can you believe that? Cameron Diaz, remember, she just she gave birth. And yeah. how old is she? She's a little bit older than me. Yeah. Yeah. The, the geneticist um, Sinclair says that your body's ability to menstruate and ability to produce a baby signals the woman's body is working, healthy. Um, signals that the clocks are all working correctly. So the longer you have your period, the better. Like my Sabine, she's a soccer player. So her periods are not on a monthly basis. You know why? Because she's stressed from running all the time. And when your body is stressed from too much working out, your body shuts down. And one of the key things you'll see is missed periods. <laughs> yeah. So the more I work out, the more I miss it. The more I relax. You have about with the essential oil. Yeah, relax, breathe in some lavender, put in more yarrow palm under your tongue because I'm about to homeschool Saxon and Bellini. Oh my. Just, just try to, you know, relax. Uh, so I'm having the coffee but this is what i'm thinking i'm rereading all these things and i'm so thankful to keep you know this conversation because i'm remembering what i have to do because i just came from a weekend where you know it's it's kind of out the window like the first saturday in moro bay sunny said i want pizza and we want to watch mulan <laughs> right but I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? So I, when they were going to get the pizza, I made my salad really quick. And I'm trying to scarf it down so that when I get to the pizza, instead of having a whole pizza to myself, which I can totally do, <laughs> right? I had one of each. So at least, you know. I know I gained weight. I had a whole bottle of wine in that past two days. Oh my goodness. Gee whiz. <laughs> right. It enjoyed myself. But I also got to exercise in front of the beach. Now that. Yeah, that was nice. That was super, super nice. Just, you know, but it was difficult because it's not like you're on hard ground. When you're trying to balance yourself for um, a plank, you're moving because of the sand. So it's harder. Just to do one move, I'm like shaking, you know? <laughs> but I tried, I tried my best, that's what, what I could do. But yeah, we need to really get out there. Just, just drive up the coast and see the waves and the fresh air, mm -hmm. that alone. And that's what I'm reading with Healing Oils of the Bible. God is the first aromatherapist. He put Adam and Eve in a garden. That was their house. They didn't were not in an enclosed home, right? And they can smell the fur, 
They can smell the barks. They can smell the jasmine, the flowers, all these things. He's the first aromatherapist. He says, you, that's why, that's why, um, have you guys heard of, um, what's this? Um, forest bathing. When you go in the forest, instead of bathing on the, of the sun, bathing in the forest. What do you get there? That's what the Japanese do. Like they, they stay, they have forestry where you walk in the forest, they hike in the forest, and then you just bathe in the glory of the forest. I guess it's because you're smelling all the minute smells of the fur, the stuff. And now we're in our boxed homes and then we try to smell it by bringing our diffuser, <laughs> right? So we can smell the fur and the jasmine and all that, right? But really it's out there in the ocean smells and all that stuff. Yeah, so that's, we're me what he's saying is we're meant to smell all these things because it goes through the blood brain barrier, these oils from those plants that you smell when you're outside. It goes and it affects your mood. He wants us to be calm and happy and it affects our mood because he knows that there's a lot of stuff that's going to go on in this world, right? <laughs> and then the more we smell those, the better. But since we're home, we need the EOs to smell <laughs> instead. <laughs> anyway, all right. Thanks for hanging on with me. Yeah. Have a fun day. You too. I'll see you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Nandi. Bye. Bye.